In this problem, we are given several equations and asked to determine whether the type of equation is linear or exponential, and then also describe the behavior as increasing or decreasing. An exponential equation must fit the form of y equals a times b raised to the power of x, where the input variable or x must be in the position of the exponent. And a linear equation must fit the form of y equals mx plus b, or y equals b plus mx, where for a linear equation we have m the slope times x or the input variable. And now let's talk about the behavior being increasing or decreasing. For an exponential equation, if the base b is between zero and one, we have exponential decay and we say the behavior is decreasing. If the base b is greater than one, we have exponential growth and the behavior is increasing. Let's take a look at two examples. Here we have two exponential equations because the input variable x is in the position of the exponent. For this first equation, notice how the base b is between zero and one, and looking at the graph, notice how the graph goes downhill from left to right, which is why the behavior is decreasing. And then for the second equation, notice how the base b is greater than one, and the graph is going uphill from left to right, which is why the behavior is increasing. And now for a linear equation, if the slope m is greater than zero or positive, the behavior is increasing. If the slope m is less than zero or negative, the behavior is decreasing. Let's take a look at two linear equations. Again, here we have two linear equations, where for this first linear equation, the slope m is less than zero or negative. Notice how the graph goes downhill from left to right, which is why the behavior is decreasing. And for the second linear equation, the slope is positive or greater than zero, and the line goes uphill from left to right, which is why the behavior is increasing. And now let's go back to the table. The first equation is d equals five times four raised to the power of y. Because the input variable y is in the position of the exponent, this is an exponential equation. And because the base b is four, which is greater than one, the behavior is increasing. Next we have h equals 170 times 0 0.9 raised to the power of x. Because the input variable x is in the position of the exponent, this is an exponential equation. But notice this time the base b is between zero and one, which means we have exponential decay and the behavior is decreasing. Next we have g equals negative 22x plus 120, which fits the sloped intercept form of a linear equation, which is y equals mx plus b, and therefore the equation is linear. And because the slope m is negative, the behavior is decreasing. Next we have f equals 44x minus 90. This equation is still in sloped intercept form, and therefore we have a linear equation. This time though, the slope m is positive, and therefore the behavior is increasing. And then finally we have p equals 130 times 1.1 raised to the power of t. Because the variable t is in the position of the exponent, this is an exponential equation. Because the base is 1.1, which is greater than one, we have exponential growth, and the behavior is increasing. I hope you found this helpful.